There is no gain saying that Nigeria is not immune to the failing food systems across the globe. Climate change, Russia-Ukraine conflict, insecurity, drought and flood to mention but a few are still challenges hindering the growth of global food system. The World Food Programme states that the world is facing food crises of unprecedented proportions, the largest in modern history, with millions at risk of worsening hunger unless action is taken now to respond at scale to the drivers of this crisis. Clearing the bushes, educating the farmers, importing modern te techniques and the modern equipment for agriculture, less up be farming in a modern way. Let us, let the government provide like 100,000 hectares mechanized as farming. mechanized farming, yes. I believe Nigeria is going to become the first or the second largest uh, agri product in the whole world. The year 2022 for Abuja farmers started with much expectations and hopes. The rains which started early April heralded a hope for bountiful harvest. However, somewhere along the line it turned out to be a year that will go down in history for many, especially farmers, is one of the worst years. Their hopes were dashed midway by the devastating impact of 2022 flooding. The extended rain affected crops like um, cowpea beans which usually don't like too much uh, uh, rain, but even at that, it also extended the planting period for rains. Uh, what I would say significantly affected is the prices of uh, inputs, fertilizers, uh, seeds were um, drastically affected because farmers find it very hard to be able to procure some of these inputs. Despite the challenges, the year witnessed series of agricultural activities aimed at revitalizing the sector from different agri fairs boosting fish production and the return of the rice pyramid in the FCT with a campaign for complete mechanized farming. Increase on our technological uh, use of uh, farming implement. Gone are those days where the food product that is gotten at the end of the day's harvest will be rotten sometimes. It cannot be used. But today the market facility is in place. The, the storage facilities are always also in place. In the Federal Capital Territory, the Secretary FCT Agri Secretariat and his team changed the narrative by accelerating development in agriculture and overcoming the challenges of unemployment, poverty and food security. Some of the measures, he explains, include training of more than 2,600 farmers, provision of about 10,000 jobs to farmers, as well as the provision of agro inputs at 50% discount to facilitate production of sufficient food. I intend to strengthen this energy with research institutes such as IITA and other reputable individuals to train our farmers as well as our agri extension agent. To ensure funds for profit yielding agriculture, efforts are being made to reinvigorate the activities of cooperative societies too. Tessie O'Meary, NTA News.